before we dive into data science let me give you some background we all know netflix today as one of the most popular platform but in 2010 netflix was struggling dvd rental was slowing down and no one knew what people truly wanted to watch in a small meeting room in california co-founder reed hastings and his team stared at chart that made no sense then suddenly one of the brilliant engineer got up and said what if the answer is in what people say they like but what they do nobody understood much but they decided to bring a data scientist who could turn raw clicks watch time and pause button into insights among those scientists was carlos gomez uribe later on he even designed netflix recommendation system and to do that he fed millions of user interaction into model and trained it after all that training and testing he noticed some pattern like users who watched the west wing also enjoyed watching fight club from this he realized that same set of users were likely to enjoy political dramas too and just like that netflix produced house of cards one of its first original hits from the moment guess work turned into prediction and across the world every companies from amazon google to tesla started asking the same question what can our data tell us that's where the era of data science truly began and companies started hiring data people who could turn raw numbers into insights even a basic understanding of statistics or simple model building made someone highly valuable because most organization didn't yet know how to make sense out of their data but today time has changed every organization from banks and hospital to e-commerce startups and media giants run from data marketing team analyze user behavior operation rely on prediction and forecast and management based strategies on insight rather than instinct the demand for data expert is projected to grow 36% over the next decade showing just how central data has become to modern businesses and this shift has completely redefined what it means to be a data scientist by 2026 being a data scientist will mean much more than just analyzing artificial intelligence has completely reshaped how data science operate tools like chat gpt google vertex ai data robots can now generate python script create sql queries visualize dashboard and even automate entire machine learning workflows tasks that once took days or week can be done in minute through ai driven automation earlier data scientists had to manually clean messy data set write pre processing function and test multiple models to find the right one today ai system can handle all those step automatically selecting algorithm tuning hyperparameters and generating performance report with minimal human input this evolution has in replaced data scientists it has redefined them modern data scientists are now expected to combine technical expertise with strategic thinking using ai not just as a tool but as a core part of their workflow so if machine can already handle most of the technical work what makes data scientists stand out in 2026 the answer lies in thinking beyond the code understanding the problem deeply questioning the assumption and interpreting result in a way that creates real business impact Modern data scientists are no longer expected to just train model they are expected to manage the entire data life cycle that means understanding how data is collected processed stored deployed and monitored it means knowing how data moves through an organization ensuring that it remains accurate secure and used responsibly to stay relevant today you must look beyond a jupiter notebook data is no longer only stored in spreadsheet or isolated databases it flows continuously across cloud platforms and real time system understanding this flow is crucial you need to know where the data comes from how it's structured and how to make it accessible for meaningful analysis this require practice that cloud ecosystem like aws google cloud and microsoft azure not just to store data but to manage and analyze it efficiently you also need to grasp data engineering concepts such as etl extract transform load pipeline and real time data streaming using technologies like apache spark and kafka managing and querying large data set in sql snowflake or big query has become a fundamental part of this job without this understanding even the most advanced machine learning model can fail because they depend on how well the data pipeline is designed beyond that ml ops has become a essential part of this process tools like ml flow cube flow and vertex ai pipeline help data scientists deploy and monitor model effectively they bridge the gap between the experimentation and production ensuring that your work is in just theoretical but actually makes an impact in the real world technical skills still matter but the focus has shifted 
earlier being able to write code and build model was enough to prove yourself. But now companies expect data scientists to design intelligent system that can adapt, scale and continuously improve. It's no longer just about using the right algorithm. It's about knowing why it's the right one and how it fits into the broader business context. For example, while a regression model might work for a small scale prediction, analyzing millions of real time transactions require advanced deep learning architecture that can run effectively on cloud GPUs. Frameworks like TensorFlow, PyTorch and Hugging Face Transformers have become a standard tools. At the same time, the rise of APIs and pre-trained AI models means that data scientists no longer need to build everything from the scratch. Instead, they must know how to integrate, customize and optimize these models for their unique business needs. The goal is to work smarter, not harder, to leverage the tools available while focusing energy on creativity and interpretations. But even with all those automation, one thing remains unchanged, the importance of human judgment. AI can handle competition, but it doesn't understand context. It can't see the bigger picture or connect numbers with real-world implications. It doesn't know the company's goal, the customer emotion, or the ethical consequences of a decision. That's where the human data scientists make the difference. A good data scientist doesn't just look at the results, they interpret them. They ask the question that machine can't, like why is the trend happening? What does it mean for a customer? How should the company respond? And the kind of reasoning connecting the data to decision making is what creates values. And this is where the art of storytelling comes in. In the past, data scientists were often seen as people who only worked with numbers. They would present charts, matrix and models. But the business team often struggled to connect those findings to real decisions. Today, that's not enough. Organizations now want narrative stories that translate complex analysis into clear, actionable insight. A modern data scientist must be able to explain result in simple terms. You should be able to say, this model predicts a drop in customer retention by 20%. And here's what causing it. Let's fix it by improving onboarding or personalized offer. This ability to connect analysis to strategies is now a must-have skill. Visualization tools like Power BI, Tableau, and Looker Studio still play the major role, but storytelling has also evolved with technology. AI-powered dashboard can now explain data automatically, generate insights in plain languages, and even interact with users in real time. Data storytelling in 2025 itself isn't just about static chart. It's about dynamic, interactive experience that makes data come alive. Another major shift has been the rise of collaboration. The image of data scientists working in isolation is outdated. Today, data professionals work closely with product team, business analyst, engineer, and executive. They align on goal, share insight, and ensure that everyone understands how data influences the company's direction. Communication has also become as essential as computation. The ability to discuss complex concepts in simple terms, negotiate with stakeholders, and present finding persuasively is now a core part of the job. In many cases, your ability to explain your result clearly can have more impact than your code itself. Modern data scientists view AI not as a threat, but as a collaborator, a co-pilot that handles repetitive work while they focus on creativity, critical thinking, and strategy. Those who resist the revolution risk falling behind, while those who embrace it are the ones shaping the industry. But with this growth comes responsibility. As AI systems become more powerful, ethical concerns become more alarming. Data scientists must ensure that the algorithms they build are fair, unbiased, and transparent. A poorly designed model can unintentionally discriminate or cause harm, especially in sensitive areas like hiring, healthcare, and finance. That's why ethics and privacy are no longer optional. A data scientist should understand that their work impacts people's life and with that comes accountability. Whether it's verifying fairness or predictive model or maintaining data security. Responsibility is as important as innovation. The path ahead is clear. Continuous learning, adaptability and integrity. The tool and framework will continue to change. But your curiosity, problem solving ability and ethical grounding will keep you relevant. Understanding business problem, communicating insight effectively and collaborating with AI are now as vital as technical mastery. The future of data science isn't about being the best coder in the room. It's about being the one who can use AI, data, and business understanding together to create meaningful impact. It's about grasping tools deeply, but understanding people even more deeply. Because in this new era, AI won't replace data scientists, but data scientists who use AI will replace those who don't.
So that's all from my side in this video. See you in the next one.